twist will be no problem for an experienced chef like myself. I'm going to make peppermint frosting to put on top of my cupcakes, and it's going to be delicious. Barbie's cookies and my cookies just came out of the oven. I have both of our cookies done, and I think that the peppermint twist isn't going to be that bad. I'll just crush up a candy cane and just sprinkle it on top, like, like, like confetti. Peppermint. Oh. Cookies were, my cookies were already done when she announced the, uh, twist. So I decided, why not make some peppermint hot cocoa to go on the side? Because cookies and hot cocoa is the... Hmm, where's the spell for peppermint? Uh, 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 ah, this one. Minty freshness! This twist is absolutely no problem. I can solve it with a snap. Ah, oh no! Why did I bake my cookies in that? Now they turn into one lumpy ball! Then, my love, I was- Oh god! What have you done? I don't know! So, so all I need to do is fix my mess by, um, uh, uh, rolling my chocolate cookie ball in peppermint and hoping that someone did worse. Looks on them. I was already planning to make peppermint cookies. So, oh! I'm not sure how to work this in decoratively, but I'm thinking that they break off a piece of candy cane and then eat it with the cookie. All right, competitors, time's up. Let's see what you got. Belle, you're. I made for you a delicious vanilla cookie. Well, two vanilla cookies, because there are two of you. And inside is stuff with traditional gray stuff from my castle. And I decorated it to look like two adorable kitties. And on top, for the peppermint component, is a candy cane that you can break off. Everything about the cookie was wonderful. It was delicious. It was perfectly balanced, and the decoration was beautiful. I really like the combination of the gray stuff with the peppermint candy cane. It actually works. Although I did think you could have been more creative with your candy cane. It kind of came across as you just laid it on top of the cookies. Thank you, judges. Great judges. <laughs> what I, the best baker in the world, have made for you. I made for you. Delicious apple cupcakes, Christmas apple cupcakes, frosted with peppermint frosting. It actually goes together wonderfully, may I say. Snow White, those cupcakes were amazing. They were delicious, perfectly balanced, and I loved the peppermint with the apple. But they were cupcakes. You were supposed to make Christmas cookies. Yeah, I asked for cookies, not cupcake snow. Sorry. Princess to princess, I was going for jelly tarts, but I figured those are below me just like cookies, so I made cupcakes. Hello, judges. Today I made for you butter pecan cookies with peppermint inside of them. Butter pecan peppermint cookies. All right, then. Let's just hope for the best. Butter pecan cookies with a delicious peppermint crumble on top. Mmm, these are actually really good. The peppermint crumble on top is light. It's not overpowering. It's actually a good compliment. I don't like you, Hans, but I like your cookies. They're good. I agree with what Anna said. I mean, automatically you already lose five points for being Hans. But, you might make up for it with- Uh, thanks. Hi! Judges, here's what I got for you today. Um, I have these super cool cookies that are made of something. Yeah, they're made of something. And they're super glam, just like me, because I totally made them! They're delicious glam, just like me, and there's peppermint somewhere in there. I'm not sure where it is. Mmm! These are actually really good, but I have to say, they're really similar to Hans's recipe. Well, we are husband and wife. We make cookies together all the 
time. Yeah, I'm going to take away five points because anything that has to do with Hans dies. And it's kind of suspicious that you have no idea what your cookies are and you have the same recipe as him. I do have an idea what my cookies are. They're glam. <laughs> Hello, judges. I made for you a decadent chocolate peppermint cookie ball. And it is the most... Did I mention how decadent and, and wonderful it is? It's, it's a cookie ball. How can you want anything? How do we eat this? Are, are we supposed to split it? Uh, I'm just going to say we split it. I, I mean, we are sisters. I, I, I thought this was supposed to be cookies, not a singular cookie that looks like a... I will say it tastes kind of burned. Um, we can tell you left it in the oven a little too long. The peppermint isn't crushed up enough, so you yeah. chew it, and then all of a sudden it's, it's super like, crunchy, ah! and you're like, what the heck? Um, and the presentation, it, it's pretty bad, Ben. This is, this is sad. I, I wish you the best of luck, because this tastes... Thank you for your, your time. Yeah, there's no way I'm not going home. Literally. Hey, judges, it's me, Uma. I made for you raspberry cookies infused with pepperminty goodness, and I even took the time to add cute little Christmas designs on top of them, so I hope... Whoa. Oh. oh. That is a very powerful peppermint punch. That's not But it doesn't peppermint. even taste like peppermint. It tastes like um, toothpaste. toothpaste. Um, oh. oh, God. Um, but the raspberry comes out really well, and I do love your design. Uh, but I have to say, it's subdued because of this horrible toothpaste taste. And Uma, we really didn't see you working at your station all that much. Yeah, we saw you. Judges, that's because I spent like five minutes on my cookies because I'm so good that I can just whip them out in five minutes. Um, you can't bake cookies in five minutes. It takes ten minutes to cook them. You don't know nothing about cooking. I know everything. I call these spend dollars. Oh, it's so creative. I'm going to give you like 10 plus points because you're crystal. They're almond and peppermint and everything good. Are they chocolate? Yes, they are. The flavors are pretty good, although I do think the bottom is a little burned. No, it's not. It's perfect. Okay. Oh, crystal. Hello judges, it's me, Mal. What I have for you today is raspberry cookies infused with peppermint chunks. It's a really delicious cookie and on top is a strawberry frosting and I made little Christmas designs of Christmas trees. Mmm, this is so good. The peppermint's subtle, the raspberry's great, but I do have to say your cookies are oddly familiar to Uma's. Well, here's the thing. Uma spelled her cookies with my spell book. She made them in like two seconds, and I decided that I wasn't going to let that slip, so I copied her recipe, except for I took the time to actually bake it. Wow, that's... Contestants, today you were asked to make the most decadent and beautiful Christmas cookie with a peppermint twist. So, some of you did this wonderfully and are securing your spot in next week's competition but others well the nope. cookie wasn't great all right so two bakers two bakers today showed us the most decadent christmas cookies delicious wonderful and perfectly balanced with their peppermint these two bakers oh oh thank you so much you I didn't just, win yet ma i know it's just i won at least and Crystal! Crystal, we love But the one baker that we felt stole the show was Belle. Congratulations, Belle. You totally did better than Crystal. Woo! Now, a bunch of other bakers have done enough to secure a spot in next week's competition. They are Hans, yeah. Mel! And Barbie! That means... Three other bakers did not do so well, and we know... Snow White, you made...
cupcake instead of making cookies, but your flavors were well balanced. Will that be? Uma, your cookies were way too minty, and later on we discovered that you used magic instead of actual. So the one baker who will be leaving us today is. Uma, you are- Well, bye. Obviously, y'all don't know Christmas spirit.